We just had a fish come out of the brush and smoke the frog right over that brush. Let's see if we can get him bite again. He can get hooked though. Like 10 minutes in and we're already on a rescue mission. Before I die trying to get my frog out of this brush somewhere, there's a Walmart port four miles away. And we're just gonna go there instead and not die. So quick cut to the Walmart fishing section and we'll be back. You know what? At least the first spot that we went to actually had, I think was a snakehead, and uh, he hit the frog. So that's a good sign, right? Oh, Walmart fishing section. As you can tell, I've been to this store before. Exactly where to go. And exactly where I got that frog. And somewhere over here. Got, got one frog. One little frog. Their selection of frogs was not very good last time. And it doesn't look like it's very good again. Got a really realistic looking frog with some little frog legs. I think we're gonna pretty much take what we can get because you guys already know. I ain't gonna make that same mistake twice. We are getting at least two of these freaking frogs. Oh, we got another frog. Three to choose from. I think we're gonna go with these three frogs. This Booyah brand was the one, and this is actually, I think the exact frog I was just throwing. So we're gonna get that guy again. Then there's an Ozark Trail one here, which is a Walmart's brand, all yellow frog action. So we got like a darker green, we got a yellow, and then, whoops, we got Lunker Hunt, which is iCast award-winning lure, which you guys know if you follow on the channel, I was just at iCast 2023 this year, and uh, this one's got legs instead of little trailers behind it. Probably more expensive, probably breaking the budget for today's video, but I think we're gonna go with all three. That way we don't have a repeat of what we just had happen to us. Back in business. All right, we're back like we never left. Back in business, baby. We tied on the same Booyah frog. And that, I'm not sure if that's a cichlid or a snakehead, kind of looks more like a cichlid, but there are tons and tons of fish in this canal. You guys can see it goes pretty dang far down and there should be snakehead loaded up in this area. And we'll talk about a little bit later in the video why I kind of chose this area to go snakehead fishing. What is going on guys? Ryan from Living Salt here. Today we are not in our traditional setting that you guys see me a lot of times in our videos here. We're in an urban environment. We are hunting for the invasive Florida snakehead species that live in freshwater canals that look just like this. And you can see we are behind a shopping center right now, right next to a very, very busy road. And this is where we're going to be targeting the snakehead. Definitely didn't start off the way I thought, getting that frog stuck right in the branches. But uh, we got three frogs now. So we're loaded up. We're ready to break off more if we have to. We already have one bite, so we know that the frogs are working for the snakehead. And uh, I think we're gonna have some luck today and we're gonna have a really good day. It's gonna be really fun. Something completely different than I normally am doing when I'm out here fishing. So that right there is actually the bush that I lost my frog into it. I didn't really want to go in the water to start looking for that. So uh, he's somewhere in there. If I'm able to see him, I'll look later. I might try to get it out, but I haven't seen it yet. So I have no idea where it is. First disclaimer, I will say really quickly, if you guys do come out to do this, I suggest wearing pants and shoes like I am doing just because of you never know what is in these uh, grasses and it's best to have the most uh, protection on yourself as possible. That's a little disclaimer. Look at that. Watch out for alligators. Have fun. <laughs> so we're going to toss our frog out like we just did. From my understanding, because I've never done this before and never caught a snakehead, just kind of want to plop it along the water and wait for a snakehead to come over and take a chomp out of it. And that's basically it. Not too complicated. Do a little action like that. Ooh, there's one. I'm pretty sure that's a snakehead right there. Okay, we got one spotted. He got interested. 
He's right over by that little pads over there. He's sitting on the outside. I think he's going to hit. When we toss this out, if we get the right cast. Oh, we did. Plop right there. Oh, he's looking at it. He's looking at it, but he didn't want it. Wow. I thought for sure we were going to get him right there. Oh, look. It's right there. It's right there. Oh, my God. He's staring at it right now. I could tell by the shape of his head right now, the way his fins are moving. That is 1000% a snakehead. We found, confirmed our first one here. We're gonna see if we can get him to bite. Cause last time when I had that last bite, they did not hesitate. He swam straight towards it and whacked it. And I couldn't get the GoPro on in time to get it on film, but. Got a first fish, there we go. <laughs> he smacked that frog. And it looks to be a snakehead. Pretty decent sized one too. Whew. Oh yeah. That's a good size one right there. <laughs> Look at that. Target species already. Invasive. Florida snakehead. Look at that freaking fish right there. That was awesome. Usually they fight, or from what I've seen, they fight a little bit more than that. Usually, but this guy did not fight that much. But he is a nice size. I mean, look at him compared to my foot. Not a bad first snakehead right here. All right, we're gonna, I'm not sure about their sharp, if they have sharp gill plates or how you're supposed to hold these guys exactly. So we're just gonna put the old rag on them. Wow. That is a strong fish right there. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. All right. Well, these guys are one tough fish. I found that out really quickly here. So that is our first snakehead. We're gonna let him go. We put him through enough. Whew. Not gonna lie, that felt like quite the uh, the Guggen move. <laughs> Could not get a good grip on that guy, but whew, I didn't expect him to be that strong. So that's slightly slightly embarrassing, but they're tough fish because he's perfectly okay. But man, oh man, that is a tough fish. <sighs> Trust me, I know how embarrassing that looked, how Guggenish that looked, but. When it comes to this fishery, I am a Guggen and I did not realize, I'm not kidding you guys, the sheer power of that fish when I was just trying to hold him, even with the rag and everything, he was tough. Like really like nothing I've ever felt before. So uh, I'm gonna look up really quickly before we continue fishing, how to properly handle these guys, just so I know. Cause that guy didn't want to open up his mouth for nothing, couldn't get the fish grips on him. But uh, we're gonna look that up real quick, keep fishing down the canal over here. So everything I've read online about trying to catch these fish, um, it all said frogs were the best thing to use. And a lot of you guys are probably saltwater fishermen, maybe, maybe, and maybe not. But these are where frogs are. So you can see it's got a soft body and squish it just like that. And then it has two hooks right there. So when the fish comes by and it chomps down on the bait, it squishes it down and boom, you got a double fang hook right there. The hooks right into the, sn the snake heads. Snake heads have extremely hard heads. They're very tough fish, so you need to get both of those hooks into there to have a good chance of landing the fish like we just did. The best way I found when I did my research on trying to catch these snakeheads was to just plop the, the frog in the water, just like that. Let it sit for a second, and then just kind of hop them around the surface. Like here's a frog swimming in the water. And that's about it. That's really all it is. And um, as far as location goes, this is a great location here because it has a very narrow channel here. And you guys see all these uh, little palm trees that are providing the shade on the edges over here, just like that, like we got our, stu our frog stuck on. That is absolutely perfect for the snakehead fishing. The snakeheads love to hide and that kind of stuff. So that is exactly what you wanna see for your snakehead territory. Okay, we see another snakehead. He's right here in the brush. You can see this little pile right over there. You see that fish maybe that's sticking out the top. He was following around that fish. So we're going to kind of try to 
not get this wrapped around the tree. The one thing I did realize is that I'm kind of under tackled for this, I think a little bit, especially pulling that snake head up the bank. 15 pound braid on here with a uh, medium, I think a medium action rod. Something a little heavier, a little bit more backbone. Probably make it a lot easier to land that fish. And I know that snakehead's hiding somewhere in there right now. You gotta draw his attention out of there. He does not want to come out from under that brush right now. I think we're gonna move on a little further and cast back this way. I mean, these freshwater species are crazy. I mean, check it out. Look at this armored catfish. He's just sitting here, he's chilling. He don't care that I'm here. Oh, I guess now he cares. <laughs> he's just sitting here eating the algae on the side. Like, that's just crazy. These freshwater species, they're crazy. That being said, we walked a pretty good distance. You can see where we started by the road over there. Fished all this area, probably to down there where those palm trees are hanging over the water. Didn't really see my snake heads on that half of the uh, canal. Sorry for that background noise. I chose to talk to you guys right behind an AC unit for some reason. <laughs> um, so we're gonna hunt this half of the canal a little bit more. Hopefully we can get another snake head or two would be nice. Um, and then I might check out what's on the other side of the road over there. We might cross over and see if there's a, another canal that looks promising to find some snakehead because I like to catch more than one today. And maybe one that I can hold up a little bit better for you guys to see since I kind of blew that first one pretty bad. There's one snakehead here. He saw the frog. I plopped it right in the water. He just swam into those weeds right there. He's in there right at the surface. This is such a cool fishery because it's like super easy to watch them eat. And it's kind of like a top water bite. <sighs> He's interested. He's going to take it whether he, whether he likes it or not. He's getting this lure in his mouth, baby. He's swimming. He's saying hi to the duck right now. Okay, we found another snake head. He's sitting right there, right next to the brush. I tossed this frog a little bit to the right of it and he came out to take a look. Let's see if we can entice the bite. Hopping, we're right next to him right now. Oof, he didn't turn his head. That's not a good sign. All right, I think we're going to give it one more cast here and then we're going to try to see if we can find another spot because I think these snakehead here are just way too skittish now. I mean, we had two hooks, so there's probably not many here that haven't seen this lure and already know it's up, so I'm going to move on. Yeah, that's going to be it for that. It for here. Going to go on Google Maps real quick. See if there's somewhere else. I think we can catch them. Crossing over to the second and final spot, which doesn't look as good as the first spot, but it's going to have to do for trying for the snakehead here. Obviously, right on a main road. Right next to us, so we're going to see if there are any snakeheads in these waters. Looks like a cichlid. Oh, we got another gar. There's a gar right here at the end. He's a bigger one, too. Well, we walked this entire length. We started all the way down there, walked the entire thing, and did not see a single, a single snakehead. I think I saw a bunch of tilapia. I think I saw an armored catfish. I saw the gar, all that kind of stuff. We had not the greatest brush along the edge that we were looking for, but I thought it'd be enough to get the job done, but uh, apparently not. No snakehead in this canal. Good to note that for the future, not coming back to this spot. But that's gonna do it for me today here. I think we need to uh, regroup, regather, do some more Google mapping and uh, find some more potential snakehead spots. But I think today was a success. We did catch one, like I said, I'm a little upset now thinking about it that I didn't like hold that up for like a proper photo. Didn't get a good shot of it or anything like that. It was, just anything, it was a Google move. I apologize for that messiness, but uh, we'll be back out here trying to catch more snakehead again soon because I really enjoyed this. It was a lot of fun. 
So if you guys are looking forward to that and you enjoyed today's video, make sure you guys hit that like button. Definitely consider subscribing that down below. That way you guys do not miss the next snakehead hunting video. And if you like this Florida inshore uh, freshwater fishing video, I'm gonna go ahead and link another one over on the left side of the screen over here for you guys to go check out next. If you like this video, I really think you're gonna like that one as well. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Until my next video, remember to keep living salty.